Friends, today is Wednesday, November 24, and I am uh, going to share a little bit from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Now, we have been looking as a prelude to getting into Corinthians at John chapter 18. If you want to look back at those verses, you can look at 33 through 38, encounter between Jesus and Pilate on the question of what kind of a king Jesus was. And Jesus said, I'm, a, I'm someone who came, my kingdom is not of this world, I came here to testify to the truth. The cynic Pilate didn't make much of an impression on him. But um, then we get to contrast this with Paul, where Paul um, says something extraordinary about this King Jesus. 1 Corinthians 1, 18 through 20. Let's listen for God's word. The message about the cross, you remember Pilate sent Jesus to the cross. He, he accepted the acclamation of the crowd that Jesus should go to the cross but he was the one that had the authority. The message about the cross is foolishness to those who are dying, perishing. But to those of us who are being saved, who are in the process of being made new, it is the power of God, the dynamis. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of discerning I will thwart. This is a quotation. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? That's a, you know, the Greek philosopher, the expert on debating. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? This is the word of the Lord. Let's go back to Pilate for a minute. Pilate was in complete control. He fell to the situation with Jesus. Not only was Jesus' uh, death and life in his hands, and of course he chose Jesus' death, but he felt he was in a, in, a, in a superior position because he understood how history worked. You know, history was written by the winners, and he was a winner, and the Romans were winners, and the Jews were losers. And you couldn't lose any more dramatically than by pretending to be a Jewish king uh, without an army and not fighting uh, for your life and allowing yourself to be crucified on a cross. I mean, that was the ultimate in being a loser. That was a loser among losers. In fact, death on a cross was reserved, a death for slaves. If you were a citizen, you were never killed on a cross, no matter what crime you committed, uh, because a cross was seen as such an experience of shame. Um, Pilate thought the cross meant the end of Jesus, as did the Jewish leaders. They, they thought that uh, their spurious charges, successfully, uh, their successful machinations had led to the end of the Jesus movement since the real Messiah was supposed to be a real king, a liberator, and, and, and dying the death of a criminal slave was absolute proof that you weren't a real Messiah. And yet, here we have Paul writing to the church in Corinth just a few years afterwards, and the Jesus movement is growing and spreading. <laughs> it's a, it, it's a shocking, shocking thing to Pilate and the Jewish leaders. The truths that Jesus proclaimed that he witnessed to were finding an echo in people's hearts. They were commanding quite a lot of assent. And many people were actually not only living by his, by his insights, but were dying on, on behalf of these truths. There was turning out to be a mysterious power in this word of the cross, a power to free believers from shame and guilt, to reorient their lives and outlooks, to motivate them to work and to live in new ways. Uh, Pilate thinking he could eliminate Jesus? Now that looks like foolishness. <laughs> it's quite a reversal, isn't it? Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, we learn from today's scripture that raw power has its limits. It cannot win hearts and minds, and it cannot compel love. And the, the ascent of hearts and minds and the love that can flow in relationship to the most important things in the world and power can't get you those things. So, Lord, it has its limits. Help us to always remember that when we exercise power, to try to do so justly in ways that are not coercive, but that honor the independence and the reality of other human beings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.